Welcome to Network Theory Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritez Dolakia, is going to explain you basic electrical elements in this video. Now see, when you want to form any electrical network, then it is very essential to know basic electrical elements. There are major three basic electrical elements. One is resistor, second is inductor and third is capacitor. So by using these three elements, we can form any electrical network. Let me mention that. Now see, to analyze any electrical circuit, we should know the basic relationship of voltage and current for these three basic elements. So now I'll explain you how voltage and current is having a relation for each of these elements. See, for resistance, voltage and current relation that is as per Ohm's law, so that is V is equals to IR, where here see VR is voltage across resistance and IR that is current passing through resistance. Now, when you want to establish relationship of voltage and current for inductance, then voltage across inductance that is inductance into rate of change of current passing through inductance with respect to time. So, see VL is equals to L into dI by dt where this VL is voltage across inductance and IL is current passing through inductance. Now, based on this equation, you can have a value of current passing through inductance based on voltage E1. So, you see IL that will be now you see L that goes on other side so that will go in denominator and this differentiation that will get translated into integration so that will be VL dt. So value of current based on value of voltage across inductance that will be IL is equals to 1 by L integration VL dt. Now when you have capacitance then voltage across capacitance that will be VC and that has to be Vc is equals to 1 by C integration Ic dt, right. So based on current, we can have a value of voltage and that will be 1 by C integration current passing through capacitor integration with respect to time. And if you want to have value of current passing through this capacitor based on voltage, then this C that will go in numerator over this side and this integration now that will get translated into differentiation. So dVc by dt. So current passing through capacitor that is C into dVc by dt. So that is how voltage and current relationship is there. Now see this equations are very essential to understand how voltage and current is happening across resistance, inductance and capacitance. Now, I will explain you how energy is there across these basic elements. Now see, when we talk about resistance, then energy that will get dissipated across resistance and that will be I square R into T means power into time and this energy that will get dissipated as heat. So usually you will be observing that we need to avoid resistance in the circuit otherwise there will be more amount of heat that will get dissipated across it. Right. Now when we talk about inductance then inductor stores energy in form of magnetic field and that value of storage of magnetic field that will be half of L I square. So inductance is storing energy as per half of L I square and that will be getting stored in form of magnetic field. So that one should know. See inductor stores energy in form of magnetic field and that is half L I square. Now when we talk about capacitor then capacitor stores energy in form of electric field and that storage amount of 
energy across capacitor that will be half cv square so capacitor stores energy and that will be half cv square and it stores energy in form of electric field so one should know see resistor is dissipating energy in form of heat that will be i square r into t one can have v i into t even right in short power into time that is what energy dissipated across resistance but inductor and capacitor will store energy inductor stores energy in form of magnetic field that is half l i square and capacitor stores energy in form of electric field that is half cv square now one more basic that i would like to explain you that is a calculation of charge from current now see sometimes you will be given with current and based on current we need to identify how much charge that is there so one should know current is what current is rate of change of charge with respect to time so if you want to calculate total charge based on current then charge is equals to integration i dt so sometimes you will be given with a value of current and that value of current may be the function of time then what we can do is we can identify how much charge is getting stored based on that current and that we can identify by having integration right so by placing values of limit we can calculate charge there can be few more questions in which you will be given with wave forms so sometimes you will be given with wave forms of current and based on wave forms of current we can be able to calculate charge how by integrating current with respect to time but see for the case of calculation of charge based on wave forms i'll suggest you to calculate area intercepted by wave form of current with respect to time area covered on upper half with respect to time axis will be positive charge and area covered by wave form of current with lower half with respect to time axis will be negative charge i'll show you some examples so that will gives you bit clear idea how we can resolve this type of questions so in next few videos you will be finding this types of questions which will resolve your understanding furthermore i hope you have understood this video if you have further any queries you just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you